A couple weeks ago, I decided to start tinkering with F1 2020 in VR with the hope of perfecting the settings to the best that they could be so I could transfer it to F1 2021 and have that ready to go to play in VR. I actually got very satisfying results. While you may have seen videos like Jimmy Broadbent's where he got nauseous in VR playing F1 2020, because of um, the headset I have, the HP Reverb G2 and the clarity it has, and because there are new graphics cards and upgraded hardware, I was able to get a smooth, non-nauseous, pretty clear experience, and I was really happy with it. I was playing career mode and everything like that in VR and was satisfied. So I was excited. I was ready to roll into F1 2021, was going to post a career mode in VR, and I was so excited for that. Unfortunately, there was one big thing that I did not realize would happen, and that was F1 2021 is only playable in DirectX 12, and that was a huge blow. Now, if you're a VR fan and you've tried to play F1 in VR, you probably are using Vorp X and Vorp X only really works well in DirectX 11. Yes, it works in DirectX 12. You can see the footage right here. I do have it up and running. It is playable with DirectX 12. You can play F1 2021 in VR, but it is not a good experience. Vorpex does not run well in DirectX 12. From what I've found with many games, it is built for DirectX 11. And unfortunately, you can only play F1 2021 in DirectX 12. With that being said, let me just share about the experience. First of all, immediately, what was really bothersome was the head tracking was just not there. The eye tracking support in F1 2020, there would be problems with the head tracking, but it was easy to manage and deal with. It wouldn't drip off center, and recentering it would recenter it right back to the center. But here in F1 2021, it was drifting off. Even trying to recenter the head tracking wasn't working. It was super annoying, so I ultimately just turned it off and went with a really punched in immersive screen mode. The other issue is that you ha you can't really run this game in 4K and I had to run it in 1440p. You I tried running it in 4K and VR, but it is just it couldn't run well at all couldn't get a good frame rate with it and I suspect that is because they uh, updated the graphics to take better advantage of the new next-gen systems out there because I was easily able to run F1 2020 in 4k to get that crystal clear image in the headset so had to downgrade to 1440p which on a on a VR headset does not look great at all. Had to also go to very low graphics. In F1 2020, I could run medium in VR. And I have a 3070. And usually it runs great. I mean, in not VR, I can run in 4K around 60 hertz, 1440p 120 hertz for F1 2021. But in VR, with DirectX 12, this the new updated graphics, it was just not a combo that made it fun. There was also a lot of ghosting for some reason. Haven't really had that problem before with Vorpex, but I suspect again that is a DirectX 12 issue. So a lot of ghosting and things being in 3D in slightly the wrong places, like part of the car right would be in 3d but the depth of the car would extend a little bit above it so the sky wouldn't line up properly in 3d 
and so it was just a mess all over the place. The frame rate was not smooth at all. There was just a lot of shaking everywhere and couldn't even hit 60 hertz, which when you're in a VR headset, man, even 60 hertz is pretty low. So you going below that will definitely make you not feel too good, gave me a headache. And yeah, just not a great experience in the headset playing this game. And so, really disappointing. I was so excited because I thought I had nailed down the settings for F1 2020. Thought I could upgrade it to 2021 and post a career mode here and it was going to be awesome. But the new next gen graphics and the game being DirectX 12 only really hurt any chances of a smooth F1 experience in F1 2021 experience in VR. I'm going to keep tinkering with it. Maybe I'll be able to find out how to get it perfectly set up. So who knows, there could be an update, but I really doubt it unless Vorpex suddenly takes a huge leap in quality for DirectX 12. I'll still probably post the Vorpex Cloud profile for anyone that wants to give it a shot. You can race. You can do a whole race and play this game in VR if you wanted to. But it is not a great experience. A lot worse than it was in F1 2020 after a bunch of tweaks. But who knows? It's only day one. Things could change. But I doubt it. Sorry for being a downer. But hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.